Hello Red and Ruby class and welcome to today's maths lesson. Today the date is, I wonder if anybody knows the date, it's the 13th of the 1st 21. If you have a look at our skill there just above it it tells us we can see the numbers 13.01.21 and that means that it's the 13th day of the first month which is January and tw in 2021. Okay now our skill today is to investigate number bonds to 11. So I wonder can anyone remember what we were doing yesterday in our maths learning? Yeah we were counting to 11 weren't we? And now today we're going to investigate different ways to make um, 11. So let's start off by doing some counting to 11. We're going to clap together. Try and count with me. Okay. One, two, three. Clap along. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one more. Eleven. Well done. Good job. Okay. Remember not just to, to clap crazily and count and just say your numbers. Remember you've got to say the number each time you do a clap otherwise you're not counting it are oh, you know okay now i wonder if anyone can find 11 on our number line here do you remember what it looks like when we write it down well done it's a one and a one and if you find the number 10 there on the number line we know it's one more than 10 so we have 10 and one more takes us to 11 Great job. Okay, we're going to carry on with our um, investigating 11 and we're going to count out some nods together. So I want you to count and nod with me. You can follow on the number line. Right, we start off on zero and we do a jump. Each time we nod, we say the next number. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one more is eleven. Fabulous, you're really getting the hang of this. Okay, let's finally touch our nose eleven times. Let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one more, eleven. Great, so we've really warmed up our, well, our brains and our hands and we've remembered how to count to 11. Now we want going to look at some different ways to make 11. So I have got with me some number blocks. Hopefully you can see these guys here. We've got the number 10. Well done if you recognised him. Now we know that 10 and one more makes 11. Good job. So we're going to look at different ways of making 11. We have got 5. And if we have, I, want, I hope you can see this okay. We've got 5. And then we want to work out how many more we need to make 11. So we can either think, oh look. We need 5 and 5 to make 10, but we need 1 more than 11. So 5 and 1 more is... That's right, it's 6. So hopefully you can see here, we've got 5 and 6 are the same as... And if I spin these guys round, you can see that they're the same as... Woo, 11. Hopefully that's okay and makes sense. Let's have a closer look on our slides here so here we've got 10 and one more and they are the same as 11 do you see if we slide him across there's no extras sticking out then we're going to slide across next we've got our number block five and number block six and they also make 11 fantastic then here we've got seven he's a bit wiggled round We've got seven and four more is another way to make 11. Great listening. Okay, 
Now let's have a look at using our tens frame to investigate different ways to make 11. So what we could do is we could fill up the top row of our tens frame. And now we know that if the top row is full, there are, yeah, there are five shells. Let's count them to, uh, to check. One, two, three, four, five. And then we know that 11 is 10 and one more. So we're going to, uh, sorry, yeah, 10 and one more. So we're going to need to fill up our tens frame and have one more. So we've slid across one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's one way of investigating number bonds to 11. We have got 11 items and we split them into two groups and we've counted how many we've got in each group. Now, if you'd like to investigate that for a while, pause now and you can go off and do it. But if you stay with me, we can see some other ways to do it and then you can choose which way you'd most like to investigate 11. Okay, so another way that we could build 11 using a tens frame is by sorting 11 items into different groups. So here I've got 11 dinosaurs. And first I'm gonna slide over my red dinosaurs. Now I could count them and I've got one, two, three, four dinosaurs. Maybe you were able to subitize and recognize that there were four dinosaurs or maybe you could see that if the top row is full that's five and we had one less so that would be four but it's always good to count and check just to prove that you were right so we'll count our red dinosaurs again one two three four now we're going to move across our blue dinosaurs so again we know that if one row is all full up, that's five in our tens frame and one more is six. So we've got four red dinosaurs and six blue dinosaurs. But we need know that that is only 10 and we're trying to make 11. So we need one more dinosaur. So we've got a green dinosaur here. So now we could say four and six and one makes 11. So we found a different way of using our number bonds to create 11. Okay. So now your pupil challenge is to set the timer and spend the next 11 minutes finding different ways to make 11. So you could use the tens frame to help you. Count out as we've shown different groups of numbers to find 11. Remember, 11 on a tens frame, you're going to need two because it's 10 and one more. Or you could collect 11 items and to split them into two groups and then count how many you've got in each group and then move them around and count them again, investigating different ways to make 11. Or if you found it really, um, if you wanted a real challenge, perhaps you could use cards and group different cards together to make 11. They're a great way of um, making number bonds. So there's lots of different ways there. Suit the challenge that is good for you and spend the next 11 minutes investigating 11. I can't wait to see some of the photos that you're going to send in. Good job, Red and Ruby class. Good luck.